These guys. Oh, yeah, that's right. We actually don't have any fun doing this. Good job. Andy needs soda. That's what A and S actually Oh, yeah, that's how we're going to play with the Oh, that was you. That was a different band. Yeah, that's cool. Probably my favorite moment would be the entire second European tour that we did in 2007. Because it was, it was just a, a, it was like five weeks of pure and absolute insanity. And I didn't have to drive anywhere. That was cool. And uh, six days with asshole parade. Yeah, we, did, we did a lot of shows. We did a lot of shows with a lot of really cool bands. We drank a bunch of garlic and, uh, vodka. Did a bunch of really crazy things, <laughs> and it was essentially just a really, really good time for five weeks in, in a bunch of different countries, halfway around the world, and it was just really cool. Realizing like, wow, this silly thing that like people started to do, however old, is now in Europe. My dad's never been to Europe. I was, yeah, yeah. I was the first member of my entire family. He's like first generation from Hungary, and I was the first member of my entire family to ever go back to Hungary. So that was, I was gonna ride. That was pretty cool. I did not, I did not find my bride. 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 I did not find uh, I guess Joe always dressed as a cowboy. I guess my favorite time was uh, definitely uh, the first tour, my first tour with A&S when, when I was playing both Seasick and A&S at the same time. And we were all in the same band together, just getting involved in all sorts of wacky hijinks all across uh, the West Coast. And then after Seasick went home, we, we continued across through Canada, just like hanging out with these dudes, getting to know them a lot better, and writing music, and we wrote our LP in the van on that tour. It was a, it was a special time, I, mean, I don't know, that was, that was really, probably some of the most fun for me. I, 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 I don't have no idea what that just meant, but... I, don't, I, I just like I just like playing every day. Like it's whenever we play, I'm having a, I'm having a good time. So. Well, what you just said, kid. I don't know what you just said, little kid. I don't know what that is. So I like. like. But I like. So I guess how do you pick the name A and S? I actually picked A&S. I actually picked it up with a bunch of. Uh, I used to keep all my. Uh, all my. I used to get a bunch of bands boxes from. Uh, my shoes and everything, and I keep all my photographs. This is like before the digital age, you know, and I keep all the, the yeah. my pictures inside the boxes. That's all I know that I had. So uh, <laughs> I can't get it out. It's all stuck in there. If you look at the radical, the the, the 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 band's logo has like a radical it's like, ANS. It's like so gone for like three seconds. Or skate rock band, band and I was like, oh, that'd be cool. And they just made up an acronym out of it, just like they they did. And that's kind of working. Like, a long time ago. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, no, no, no. That's that. <laughs> Andrew needs soda. And that I searched for years to find someone named Andrew to play in the band so I could give him soda. Oh, I also remember another awesome time before I was in the band. It was one of the first times I saw ANS. And uh, it was at 120 Hamilton Street in New Brunswick. And like everyone was like, oh, you gotta see this, this new band coming through from Texas ANS. And just like, I, 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 saw, I saw Andy. Like after after they played, I was just like, it was just like this short little like chubby dude. I was like, this dude is like fucking twelve years old. Like that bass player, he had the shittiest mustache and like this like bouncing souls hat on. I was just like, who is this fucking little dork? But it was really awesome. I, I thought they were really good. And that, that was really fun too, especially just like seeing Andy for the first time. I was just like, what the fuck? But what do you know? It was love at first sight. I just had to add that. <laughs> Mark loves that one. Just <laughs> I guess just to like throw Texas somewhere in this or something, you know, I remember you guys used to end with Texas Pride a lot, and yeah. uh, you guys ever played outside of Texas, and what did people think of it? Just we used to play a lot, um, the only reason why we kind of stopped playing was because that was originally, uh, it was written back in like 2005. <laughs> Or something like that, or four, <laughs> three. I don't know, it's a long time ago, and it right. marks from New Jersey, and he lives in New Jersey. So good. Anyway, like we uh, <laughs> we wrote like many records after that, and it's hard to keep playing 
old songs when you want to try to play new songs, you know. And so we eventually kind of like passed it off as, a, as an older song we don't really play anymore. <laughs> but uh, everyone always reacted well to it because it was just like one of those songs that was just like, I mean, like we're from Texas and so whatever, you know. It, it was just kind of like a you know tongue in cheek, you know. It's like it ended with like you know like the little you know, like you know knee slapper like whatever shit that it had at the end, you know. It was just like. It was fun to play. It was, yeah, it was. It was a really fun song, and every time like, we played it, like on the first two. We tours. played it in several continents, actually. Yeah, yeah. We played it on the first two tours, I think. First two U.S. tours when Andrew and I were in the band, and we also played it, I think, on both European yeah, tours. Yeah, played it in Europe and, and a lot of in Japan people, before these guys were in the, in the band. And a lot of people, people would, whenever someone would come up and say something, they'd be like, "Why are you doing this song about Texas?" And we'd be like, "It's more fun." Uh, it's cool. And it's, it's a state that has a bigger personality than the state itself, you know, and there's a lot of people. The nation of Texas. The Republic of. So you're right, yeah. guys. Because everybody thinks we're a bunch of fucking dicks, and we're not, dude. Yeah, thank you, I mean, you, straight the fuck up, dude. I mean, He's our friend Pedro from El Madre. Dude, not everybody you're thinks not we're a bunch of fucking hicks, you know what I mean? Everybody thinks, hey, you're into fucking rap, or you're into fucking into country, because you're fucking... Like, they like to think Alabama's like a lot like fucking like Texas. Rap. You know what I yeah, mean? Yeah, it's 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 a big state, <laughs> but uh, we've had a lot of a lot of bad dudes come out of it, mostly with the Bush name. Uh, although Bush uh, was born in Connecticut. Well, I'm not from Alabama. Connecticut. So I, know, I don't know why you're pointing at me. <laughs> to I'm pointing towards <laughs> Connecticut. I think that is due northeast. I actually had a strange uh, perception of Texas. <laughs> When I got here, because I guess maybe just I, I, I've never really known anybody yeah, from Texas <laughs> that well before these dudes. I was waiting. I just thought everybody had cowboy hats and was shooting off guns. Get out of here! You sent me Sam, and obviously girl. that's a horrible stereotype. Eating rattlesnakes and shit. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's it's not a, it's girl. not the best Please perception of Texas, I guess. I heard I about these, it, but it's really not like oh that. It's a very uh, interesting and uh, diverse place. I actually I'm, I'm quite fond of it now. So. But at first, yeah. I was just like, what the fuck is this? Better be. We That's have black people <laughs> here in Houston. <laughs> wow. And they fucking rule. I don't understand that what that statement just meant. <laughs> My last name is Wall, no, but I'm not really Paul Wall. Hey, Anyways. no, hey. I will have you know what he said right now. <laughs> Texas rap scene started in Houston with... That's true, dude. Get a boy. Yeah, it's, cool. it's all chopped and screwed. Get a boy. 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 I think we're being framed. Are those oh. are those boobs? <laughs> <laughs> those are the smallest boobs I've ever seen on a line. <laughs> well, I guess I'll like to grab we'll call it. Yeah, we'll we're call it. As dysfunctional as that was, I'm glad this is documented. <laughs> that was my disc graphic. Right. <laughs> It'll be all over YouTube for all the internet to see. Is totally yeah, well, it would be the worst thing that we had, which was in Montreal, and it's off to that. <laughs> A little later, so, uh, really yeah, ANS, go check him out. What is your MySpace address like? Slash ANS. MySpace.com slash ANS. Simple enough, people. Go check it out. Sandy so. and or die. Sweet and or